What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Tackle Tuesday here on Joe Bob's Bass. Super stoked today, guys. As per usual, I love making these videos for you guys. Uh, this weekend, Saturday, Throwback Baits Swim Bait Only Tournament. It is the first official tournament that I have ever fished. Fishing it with Scott, my other uh, co-worker buddy from Throwback Baits. Super, super excited, and it's swim baits only, right? There's some stipulations around that, um, what classifies a swim bait for this kind of a tournament. And um, yeah, overall, I'm just super, super stoked. Um, so today I figured, let's go over essentially just what swim baits I have, what I'm gonna be using, what I'm gonna be kind of starting with throwing as far as um, the ideas in my head, the, the research that I've done around this lake. So let's just get up close. I wanna show you guys that swim baiting obviously can be very, very expensive, but it's a really cool niche in the bass fishing world. Um, and I don't have a lot of very expensive baits. A lot of the stuff I have is pretty affordable if you're looking to get into swim baiting. So let's take a closer look and see what is in the box. All right, folks, so let's start here with the hard baits. I'm just gonna kind of rifle through these. I'll say a little bit about each bait. Um, some of these I actually, uh, two or three of them I just got uh, specifically for this tournament. I'm excited, super excited to try them out. And a couple of them, obviously, I have fished for a few years now. So number one, let's start here, Throwback Baits Wake Walker. This thing is chewed up. I have filled in some paint gaps with some Sharpie, um, as you can see, but this is a awesome, awesome, awesome wake bait on the top. You can work it super slow. You can get it all twitchy. If you crank it, it'll go just subsurface a little bit. Um, but this is definitely one of my most expensive baits, right? These are, these are hand poured garage style baits. Um, most of these are more mass produced. So this is probably one of the most spendy ones. Um, then kind of going the exact opposite way, We've got a Savage Gear Shiner Glide. All right, this thing is awesome. I love these kind of six and a half inch, um, just very generic glides. This one you can see it's got a pretty good uh, side to side there on the tail, right? So this thing has got a really nice action. It's decently heavy and it's kind of, I would say a moderate sink. So you can let it get down there all the way to the bottom if you really want to, but it's great at targeting an area of the water column. So, and then also, the DRT Tiny Clash. Uh, you can see this guy is very heavily used. It's one of my favorites to throw. Um, this is this is just a really good lure for a lot of reasons. I've got a little bit of lead tape on here, which is gonna let that lure kind of sink a little bit and suspend a little bit. The suspend is what I'm really going for, right? Um, this water, or this lure's got a lot of cool little features. We can get a whole video on this, so I'll just brush them over quickly, but it's got a removable lip, so you can put in different inserts to get different kind of depths or top water action. And then this tail also has different tail variations that you can purchase, but you can also just flip it. And that tail, as you can see, is kind of pointed upwards, or if you flip it, then kind of pointed downwards. So it gives it a little bit of a different action as well. So um, moving right along here, we've got the Spro Rat, a great cheap wake bait if you're looking for a big wake bait, right? Um, we don't really have rats here in Minnesota, or at least not like this, but we do have muskrat, we have chipmunks, we have other critters that would be swimming on the top just like this that I've seen a billion times. I fished this for an entire day last summer. I had, boy, six or eight blow-ups on this thing and missed every single one of them. Now, that is not a knock on this lure. I think it was all me at that, at, that, at that time, actually. But another cool thing is this tail is removable. It comes with, I think, two or three different colors in the package. Um, but actually, for this tournament, I might even take that tail out and just use that kind of knocking butt motion that you got there. All right. Um, going back to the glides, here's one of my all-time favorite glides, especially for on the budget. Just did a video on this a couple weeks ago, the Livingston Lures Glide. All right. This is the six-inch Viper. Just a really, really cool bait. It, it is so quality for that $32 price tag. You're, it's really tough to beat, so check that out. And then here, another kind of cheaper, uh, around $40, I believe. This is the Arma Joint from Shimano, right? You can see that flasher in there. Um, this thing is cool because it really folds up in half when you go to cast it, so you get just crazy casting distance. It's pretty awesome. Um, here we've got the S Waver 168 by River to Sea. Um, this is a huge staple. This is like an 18 or $19 glide bait. I just got this thing super, super stoked to fish it. Obviously, a lot of people 
um, know this bait and know this is kind of an entry into the swim bait world. So super stoked to give that one a try. And then you guys know one of my favorites, especially this year, has been the Throwbacks cheat code there. This is Threadfin Shad. Got that white tail, white belly, a little bit of purple and blue there, and then a black back. And this thing just gets hammered. Just a bit crazy. So that's pretty much it for the hard baits, guys. Um, I've got another glide or two, but I think this is kind of what we're working with for now. Then we're going to go on to the soft baits here. We've got the Meg Draft 6-inch from Mega Bass. You either hate this bait or you love it. I have not fished it a whole lot yet, so I cannot tell you what I do. I know that it is a very, very slow retrieve, though. You cannot work this bait back fast. Um, it's not very twitchy. It is just super slow roll, super steady, slow retrieve. All right. On the opposite of that is the Nessie from Berkeley. This is the 7-inch. All right. This is a soft glide bait guys a lot of cool things here it's got this really cool hook harness to keep that hook not just tucked up in the belly but snapped on there too with this barrel swivel and everything so once you do get a fish that bait's going to go free and you're just fighting the fish right it also has two different fin sections on it that help this bait stay level in the water water and you're going to be able to get this thing you know real slow you're going to give it a nice big s but also very, very twitchy and can be worked a lot of different ways, which is awesome. The nine inch, I got a 12 aught beast hook in here. Beast hawks are beefy, they're huge. I mean, depending on what size you get, right? I've got a couple more here. This is actually a 10 aught and a 12 aught that I just threw in the same package. Um, but I have fished this a little bit. The action on this thing is just, it's just a huge paddle tail. Big old hook slot in there. Nice, so it's not super heavy by itself, but with that weighted belly hook, that thing will get down there. Nice for you. So a couple of those, super excited to try. And then this guy I also just got today from my boys over at Waypoint Angler, the Burrito. Everybody that uh, knows about swim bait fishing has probably heard of this bait. It's a very, very popular one. This is the six inch. And um, these are a little bit pricier, obviously, than even these custom ones that I had made. But that is because these are silicone, right? And again, if you know this bait, you probably know that. But a lot more rigid and longevity to it than just kind of plastisol style baits. So again, I got the fast sink version, hoping to maybe target some smallies with this. We'll see uh, and how deep we can get uh, the fish to bite. So super stoked there. And then a couple other new ones that I have not even fished yet. The 316 Lures Co. Um, this is the weedless rising sun in like seven and a half inches, I believe. So I'm um, going to Going to rig that up with a probably a 10 aught, maybe 11 or 12 aught uh, weedless hook. Probably not weighted. The way that I saw a lot of guys fish these is actually without a weighted hook, a lot more close to the surface. So I'm excited to try that. And then last but not least, another fun new one um, from Jaw Jack and Baits down out in California, I believe. Um, the trout, Cadence Trout, that's what it is. Cadence Trout, got a big weighted hook on there, might go weightless on this one as well. We'll have to see how she swims. But a lot of cool, fun stuff, guys. Super, super excited to try out these baits, fishing for an entire tournament day, eight hours. It should be an absolute blast. All right, folks. So there you have it. Wish me luck this Saturday. Like I said, first tournament that I've ever fished in. Like that's an official tournament. You got to pay to be in it. Not just some like online free thing. I've done some of those. But um, yeah, just really, really excited uh, to be out there fishing with Scott. Hopefully the weather is great. We've been having storms roll in and out every day for like the past month. It seems like uh, this last week has been very, very wet. So lake is probably going to be murky. It's probably going to be pretty high water, so we'll have to see. We're going to have to see how we're going to adjust. I do plan on starting the early morning, throwing some top water stuff, just fun lures. We're out there to have a good time, right? If, if we catch a big bass or we catch uh, just, you know, if somehow we even place in this tournament, that would be uh, just a cherry on top of the cake. But Scott and I are just going out there to have a good time and uh, just fish our hearts out and have some fun. So we're going to be throwing some top water probably in the morning. Um, as the morning progresses, you know, I actually have had a lot of my swim bait luck kind of in that 9 to 11 range, even 10 to noon some days. So we'll see how that holds up. Um, and then, you know, I'll probably just start fishing a little bit deeper, might be fishing structure, weed lines, rocks. There, there's a ton of structure in this lake as far as points and contour go. So we, we don't have graphs. We, we're going in very blind, but it's going to be a ball. I'm super excited. So thank you guys for watching. Look forward to talking to you again next week and have a great Tackle Tuesday.